Hello. Happy Sunday. <laughs> what are we doing today? We are home Epcotting. Yes. Well, just one country, but. <laughs> yeah, in the past, during during COVID. Yes, it was like May of like the start of COVID when like Disney was shut down. Yeah. Like. We did like a, a full around the world Epcot mm -hmm. uh, dining and drinking yeah, we day. A, we had a snack or like a meal and a drink in every country in one day. It was our anniversary. It was exhausting. And Colby was like how old? Like seven months or something, or six months or something like right. that. He's a little bean. We had him dressed as a little uh, German little German, German guy. He's so sick and cute. Oh my god. Yep. But today we're just doing Canada, so we're gonna make the Canadian cheddar cheese soup. My one of my favorite. Soups and meals ever. Yeah. Like, and we get, we've made this in the past, and we get pretty close. Yeah. To the real thing. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Yeah. And then uh, for a cocktail, we're gonna do the Ottawa Apple. Mm -hmm. I've never had it. I haven't either. I've had like Crown Royal before, just I don't know, yeah. like, randomly, but I've never had the apple guy. So. I'm excited for it. We got a sad boy. What's up? You want to be in the video? Yeah, but I want my stool. Come here. I'll I'll pick you up. Oh boy, we got Jack, uh, Jack Skellington over here. There we here. go. Wouldn't be a Sunday fun day without a little Jack Skellington outfit, huh? <laughs> you wanna do, uh, you wanna say what we're doing today? Um, we're making some pretzels. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, good call. We didn't even cover that yet. Yep. Nice. And we're gonna make, bake some pretzels. Not make them, you know. Is it Auntie Annie's? Something like a super pretzel, I don't know, frozen pretzels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Colby's excited about the pretzels, and yeah. the pretzels only. He's yep. not a big fan of the soup. But, are you going to try it? Yeah. Alright. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, join us. Oh, Bean is playing with oh, the no. subwoofer. <laughs> it's pandemonium! Join us for soup from Canada. So we have a good week. And we have Easter Day, right? You betcha. And um. We is um, Doki's right there. Doki's right there, yep. And um, we got all the new food. We got new food. And we have, and then the flies, and then we got my water bottle. Yeah. <laughs> You're in here first. Then we, we went outside. Right? Yep. And uh, when we uh, we just gonna we get to just go in here. Okay. Is that it? So so uh, we got the Easter bunnies paper and we got drawing time. We got draw and then we got um we got a table, then that's the last one. That's the last one. Okay. Great job, buddy. I'll see you next time. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start prepping uh, some of the ingredients. I'm just going to throw the link to the recipe that I use instead of talking through all the measurements because uh, that's going to be way easier for you and for me. So start with an onion. We got cheese to shred. We got celery to dice up, bacon to cut up. And then I'll show you some of the other stuff that goes in it. for half a pound of bacon. I, I don't know. Yeah. Every time. Because more bacon ain't gonna hurt. Never.
I'm also realizing that anytime we show us cooking, it is a copious amount of cheese in anything that we make. Because <laughs> I'm always either filming the mac and cheese or this. Yeah. I promise we make more than this. <laughs> but we shed a lot of cheese in this household. Oh yeah. So we got our bacon chopped up, our onion, celery, cheese is shredded, we got flour, chicken stock, beer, Tabasco, Worcestershire, butter. I think that's everything. I think. We'll see. We're gonna brown up the bacon a little bit first. I'm trying to break it up a bit so that all the pieces can get browned. Alright, once the bacon is browned up a bit, throw in the onion, the celery, and four tablespoons of butter. Cause it's super healthy. Look at that. My arteries are screaming already. Just delicious. But with all this celery and onion, it's basically a salad. I'm gonna add in a cup of flour. Recipe calls for three cups. I do the whole box, so it's four cups. Mainly because it feels silly to leave a cup in the box. So you bring this to a boil and then uh, lower the heat to simmer. This is a little bit thicker than what I remember, so I'm definitely going to turn this lower so we don't burn it. Um, and then simmer for about 15 minutes and then the milk goes in. So I did also add an extra cup of water. Um, because it seemed a little bit thick. This seems a much better consistency now. Um, but you may have to you may have to mess with the liquids a little bit. What I read on the article, or the recipe, it says it, uh, it's basically adapted from a large, uh, you know, they're making it for a restaurant, so it's a big quantity. Um, so they did their best to uh, make it so that it was a little bit smaller, but um, just know that, yeah, maybe the liquids are a little bit off, I think probably add a little bit more. I also have to admit that I usually rush this step a little bit. Oh, jeez. Um, I usually don't give it a full 15 minutes of simmer time before I add the milk, but we're three minutes away from 15 full minutes, so let's see if that changes anything. So we added in four cups of milk there. And this will simmer for about 15 minutes. Want to make sure to not boil once the milk is added. Very important. Don't want scorched milk. Sounds like a good band name though. What? Scorched milk. <laughs> All right, we are done simmering, so I'm just going to keep that on low. It says to remove from heat, but we're not going to. Put all our cheese in. Can't have cheddar cheese soup without cheddar cheese. I didn't mention this, but you gotta shred your own cheese. You can't get the packaged shredded cheddar because it has... Uh, powder on it. It looks like flour, um, but it's a non-sticking powder, and it just messes with the consistency. So, shred your own cheese. Get the TikTok shredder if you need to. Doing a tablespoon of Tabasco. A tablespoon of Worcestershire. And a very important step. Emulsify.
And the last piece, half a cup of warm beer. We're using Narragansett because it's a lager. lager. Recipe calls for a pale lager. Couldn't find a pale lager. Stir nice and smooth. I don't know, Mommy. This might be uh, a good one. Oh, yeah. Of course. Some salt. And pepper. So, like I said earlier, we're doing a little bit of a, a cocktail with this as well. So we have, uh, I love that Crown Royal puts their bottles in this little little bag. We have Crown Royal Apple. We have cranberry juice. And maple syrup. Uh, so it's six ounces of cranberry juice. Uh, in a shaker filled with ice. One and a half ounces of the Crown Royal Apple, and then it looks like just a splash of the maple syrup. I like it. You like the pretzel? Mm-hmm. My one contribution is, sorry, I just went to bed. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Paul. Tablet. There she is. Soup, Ottawa apple, handmade pretzels. <laughs> by someone else in a factory. <laughs> it's like we're really there. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Oh, hello. Wow, that chef, what a cutie. Oh, wow. <laughs> Except the one who cut the scallions. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> the cutest. <laughs> good. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I know. Let's, uh, let's give this drink a try. All right. Oh god, I'm, we're definitely gonna spill it, but it's fine. Cheers. Mm. That's nice. It's refreshing. I feel like I can't taste any of the whiskey. Really? <laughs> yeah. But maybe it's just like... I mean, any sense of apple that you're getting is only mm. from that whiskey, so... That's true. Mm. I don't taste it. That's... I probably could have gone heavier on the maple also, syrup. Also, but... in my brain, I'm used to Negronis, because that's mm. our, like... And it looks just like yeah, it. Yeah, and so it's it's sweet. I, I like it because it's, it's sweeter, tasty. But it's tasty. That's nice. You can just sip on I would that. do that again. Yeah, that's nice. And All right. Let's try the soup. Let's try it. Mhm. Mm that's pretty close. It's pretty spot on. Yeah, that's like. Yeah, I probably could have wow. made it a little bit smoother. Yeah. But it's okay. Pretzel time. I feel I like do. you gotta have pretzels. I know, with and this. so at La Cellier. They give you like the pretzel roll. Mmm. Yeah. So good. I know you definitely so good. you like to have the pretzel. Mm-hmm. Just add some like substance to it. And the salt it's of like, the pretzels. It's like we're there. I know. Mm. I know. The salt adds that little extra. Mm-hmm. Wow. Real good. It's a great idea. Yeah. I want to do a whole Epcot series. I think we should. It's kind of random that we started in Canada, but I also feel like this is like what we make all the time, you know? True. Um, if you're curious or if you have suggestions of what country we should do next, I know. I think we should make this a series. I know. Do we go in order or do we just kind of here and there? Mm, I feel like we have to go in order. So what's it would be France or England? We do fish and chips. France or England? Oh, wait. Sorry. Be Mexico or England? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Sorry. That's why you keep me around. <laughs> like, keep me around. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Mexico would be an easy one. I know, but I feel like we would need like a, like we can't just do like 
taco. It's like we have yeah, to do like a, to do like a specific Disney, dish. Yeah, like a specific Mexico dish. Mexico And then like a specific like unique margarita. Maybe a like, smoky margarita. Ooh, or a, yeah, like the, um, not the grasshoppers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we that. don't have to do the grasshoppers again. We did that before. Yeah. We'll put a link to our, um, our old video. Oh, yeah. From when we drank around the home world um, in 2020. Yeah. But. Yeah, sounds fun. Yep. I think that's going to do it for us. Yes. Cool. We'll right. see you next time. Bye. <laughs>